Okay. <clears throat> Today I just wanted to uh, to give a quick tutorial on how to clear a log like this. This is a this is something you're going to run into no, on no matter what trail you ride. Um, so you're going to need to know how to get over these. There's there's lots of different ways of doing it. Uh, I'm not a professional, you can tell by my gear and my bike. But uh, I'll show you that anybody could do this with just uh, a few little easy pointers techniques. Um, when you approach a log like this, you just want to be standing up uh, in the tack position. Roll up to it nicely. Uh, depending on your level, I mean some guys could just blast over this like it, like it was flat ground. I'm not one of those guys. I have to uh, kind of roll up to it, plan my my procedure, and then clear the log. I like to... This, this particular log has nothing running up to it. Those are quite a bit easier. This one here, it's gonna, it's gonna hit hard and uh, to get over it. You could, one way you could do it is just loft the front end over it, drag the engine cases over, and carry on. Another way you could do it, which is the way I do it, is I could come up to the log, and just, I just want to bounce my front tire off of this log, just past the halfway point of the log. If you were to hit it here, it's almost like driving into a vertical wall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip up to it, I'm going to bounce my tire off of here, and at the same time, I'm going to release the clutch, give it gas, but I'm going to try to keep the gas on past the log. If you don't do this, you basically, your bike slams forward, and you kind of do an endo. I do those all the time, because it, I just don't have quite enough jam to just keep her pinned, right, and, and jump it. A lot of guys can do that, pros, enduro cross guys, uh, off-road guys, they just rip up to this like nothing. But the idea of this tutorial is just to show you some basic things so that you could get over a log like this instead of having to turn back. You come up around a snaky trail and there it is. You don't want to turn back. You want to be able to clear the log. So I'll start, uh, I'll, I'll do one demonstration as we were talking about of, of bouncing the log, off, the uh, front tire off of the log at the, just above the halfway point. And then I'll do another one of just lofting the, the uh, front tire up and over, and just drag the engine cases. That's another way of doing it. Uh, if you're not that good with the clutch, I might suggest doing it that way. Uh, I don't suggest sitting. You don't want to be sitting on your on your seat when going over this. A lot of people sometimes do that, and the re the recoil alone can just send you the recoil of your rear suspension can just send you right into a a, a front flip. So. So you come up to the log, bounce the front tire, feather the clutch, fan the clutch, give her some gas, do a little jump, and uh, it's a done deal. So let's see if I can put my words to, uh, to practice here. So there you have it. Logs like that really aren't that difficult with uh, applying just a few simple little techniques. I mean the more practice you do, the faster you'll be at it. And 
soon this log will be a small log. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on how I cross logs. And uh, feel free to leave any comments you might have or better explanation than I have. Like I said, I'm not a pro, so there's probably a lot of things I may have missed. But uh, please let us know, comment, subscribe, and uh, if this turns out alright, maybe I'll do a few more of these little tutorial vids.